All right, I'm almost done setting up my equipment. I'm gonna put my, set up my T-bar, set up my DMX Go, and of course have the music playing. So check that out. Um, I wanna show you guys a real quick, um, helpful tip. I'm not sure if a lot of people are using these uh, T-bars, but if you guys are using these T-bars or whatever, and you need power to it, check this out. I'm gonna show you guys this right here. They have these, uh, these um, extension cords and it has three plugs on it. And it has a little loop right there, like a little hole. Put a hook on that sucker. Um, I have this one right here, so when I don't need, um, cause lately I've been putting my DMX Go on the, clamping it on, on my T-bar, my DMX Go. But lately I haven't been using my DMX Go like that. I've been just setting up my DMX Go on my table, but I use this right here. And this right here has a hook and just hook that sucker. So I just get this little hook and I just hook it up right here and I lift up high and I could just plug up my lights right here. I got two moving heads. That's all I needed for my two moving heads. So this has three. I'm sure you could probably find something like this with a little bit more plugs if you need them. Or if you have a bunch, like if I put my moving head here and I need more than three, I also has, have this right here. So I put a hook on this one too. Check this out. I put a hook on my strip. So this has like little loops right there. See the little loops? I just put a hook on that sucker. So the same thing with this one. Hook that sucker on there. And I usually hook it up with the back, the back facing forward. So you can't see it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna put it right here on this side because on this side you got the crank. So I like to plug it like this with the bright yellow in the back of the light so you won't see it. So when you un untangle this puppy, and this cord is pretty long. This cord is about, I don't know how long it is, but it's long. That's like a, I could crank it up to the top and it has a lot of cord left. So here I just got to plug up my DMX Go because my DMX Go has a USB. And it also has a big fat plug for the antenna, for the transmitter. And then I could put my two moving heads here. If I need, if I forget to charge up my, my, my donors, I could plug up my donors here too. So I got enough plugs here. But I use this for my DMX Go when I clamp it here. My DMX Go, then I just whoosh, lift it up. And this thing goes up with it. So when you crank, clamp it, or when you hook it, and you start lifting it up, that sucker's going up with it. You know what I mean? So that's a little helpful tip. And these right here, I don't know the name brand. Um, rocket Socket. <laughs> rocket Socket. This is a Rocket Socket. I got two of these. And the other one that I try to get one like these, I try to get another one like this because this is metal. This is metal. I like it. I try to get another one like this, but I got a, another cheap generic one. What the heck is the cat doing over there? He's playing dead. So, uh... So yeah, you lift it up all the way to the top, and this thing, you got enough cord to plug it up. So the other one that, all, um, that I have bought for my equipment, is, I try to look for the same brand, the Rocket Socket one, but I ended up getting this one because I couldn't find the Rocket Socket one. And this one is a little bit different. This one has actually black, and the way I like it, with the black, but the bright yellow, man, the bright yellow. I don't like the bright yellow. Same thing with this, it has the hooks. The, the loop, so you could put a hook in there and just clamp it if you need to. Um, this also, let's say, um, like for me, I do a lot of outdoor gigs. Sometimes this, if I put it down right there, especially like let's say it's fall and I'm on top of some grass, the dew from the grass gets on my, if I put this on the ground, it's gonna get soaked. So this also helps if you put a clamp and you clamp it like to right here or something, the leg, Clamp it, it won't hit the ground. It'll just be, and you can plug up everything to it. Um, that's helpful right there. That, um, but usually I use my lid for that stuff like that. When I'm in a, in, a, in a place where there's a lot of grass, and I don't know if you guys know that, but like at night, it gets all that dew, it's watery. I put my lid sometimes, and I put the things on top. The, the, the outlets, I put, in, put it inside my lid, and I put it on the ground. So, yeah, stuff like that, you know, helps out a lot. So see, you can't really see the bright, <laughs> the bright yellow. Don't be, don't, don't be judging me. You can't really see it. And this guy acting weird. 
So yeah, this is your boy DJ City Manos. Hopefully that helpful tip. I uh, help you guys out if you guys do these little T bar things like that. Um, little ideas um, for you to do. Um, I'm sure they sell more these with um, instead of three. I'm sure they sell it with four, four plugs or five plugs. You got to look for them. Um, it, it, I mean, it comes in handy. It really comes in handy. So you don't have to worry about um, you know taping things up. Just psh, clamp it and you're done. So yeah, this is your boy DJ Steady Manos. Let me finish packing it up, and then I'm gonna put all this junk away, um, put it in my psh, straight ahead, all this stuff away. I'm gonna get some lights out because I got some work to do. I gotta fix my life scenes. All right, I'm out. Peace.